Hey guys, welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and for today I wanted to make an account showcase video. So those of you who don't know, I used to be a MapleStory YouTuber and I would routinely make equipment videos to sort of document my progress to see how far I went every time I made an upgrade to something. And I wanted to do kind of the same thing to Genshin Impact because even though it's not an MMORPG, it is still an RPG game and you know, you can progress through your adventure rank, your characters, how strong they get and just whatever new characters you get. So this is going to be my first one. And uh, I'll probably do one every month or two, depending on how much progress I make. And I'm currently at AR33, so I'm a little bit behind, mostly because I started the game about a week late, so I missed out on a week's worth of dailies and a week's worth of uh, resin. So I suppose if I started about a week ago, or like when the game first came out, I would be about maybe AR36, depending on how much I grinded. So let's get started first with the characters, I figured. Uh, so the ones I currently have, um, just for full disclosure, I spent about $400 on the game, which to some people is a lot, and to others may not be that much. It usually just depends because we have some whales, especially the big content creators who burned thousands of dollars on the game, and some who only put about maybe 100 and we have a bunch of free-to-play. I consider myself reasonably lucky because I was able to get Koching, Venti, and Diluc, considering that some people took several hundreds of dollars or if not thousands of dollars to pick up most of these units uh, or at least one of these uh, five star units i would say it was pretty good though i wish i could have chi chi and mona i just don't want to go that far for them i consider myself very fortunate to have gotten d luke in that uh, poll video if you watched it before aside from that we have uh, chongyun which is my main ice dps we got official who I know is very very good, but for some reason I just want to use uh, double pyro, so I would go Shenling and Diluc, and then I would bring Venti for support and Kuching for follow-up DPS. I don't think it's necessary to put these two in the same party, because they both fit a DPS role, but I use Diluc mostly for burst and Kuching for DPS. And then Barbara for healer. I want to get another healer, I just don't know exactly which one, because... Oh right, I need it probably. Let me just mute that really quick, sorry. <laughs> I don't know, I've been switching between English and Japanese voices for most of the game because I just kind of get bored of hearing one after the other, so I just switch every now and then. Razor is about everyone's free-to-play DPS. He's sort of uh, a mixture of... That's a sound effect? Okay, apparently it's not a voice. Sort of the same thing. All right, anyways. Let's get to the actual equipment. So for Kaching, I have the flute, and I know that she works really well with Lionheart or whichever that sword is that grants you pyro and electro damage bonus. I would like to also get Skyward Blade if possible in the future, which is, I think, the best in slot right now. Uh, but for the time being, flute is not bad. It's essentially just a one-handed sword version of the prototype Aminus in terms of like the splash damage you do. And uh, I like it so far because it provides you with a good balance of attack and percent attack as a secondary stat, which is usually what you want to go for. If not that, then maybe like crit damage or crit rate if you're like super late game. And in the higher ranks, it's actually better to go for crit rate because crit damage does scale up quite a bit. And as for her artifacts, I haven't been very lucky with artifacts. I was very lucky with pulling units, not so much with my drops. I know you don't really get good artifacts until world level 4 or AR35 and technically AR level 40 or world level 5. But for the time being what I have is the Berserker set and the Sojourner set, the two pieces for both of them for Kaching and I have a flower for her. Haven't been able to get a good flower since then uh, so at the moment I'm just waiting until AR35 before I start really grinding for artifacts and then I think this is okay for the time being though, crit damage and attack. Generally you want any combination between attack Crit damage, crit rate, uh, depending on the character that you're playing or depending on the unit. If there's support, you might want to go healing, or not healing, uh, energy recharge or elemental mastery. But I figured 2 out of 4 is not bad. And I have Feather of Homecoming, which I do want to switch as soon as possible because feathers give the most amount of value since their base is attack. But it is partnered up with the Sojourner set, so I'm keeping the 18% bonus until I get the Gladiator Feather, which is the exact same set as the Sojourner for the 2-piece. And then the first gladiator piece I have, I kind of went overboard and I was just really tilted and decided to get to plus 16. 
not the best stats out there, but I can just disenchant it for 80% of the value. I'm more than willing to take that, and I uh, just wanted the extra attack. So once I get a Gladiator Feather, I'm probably going to instantly replace it regardless of what I get because it's just a direct upgrade. And then we have Goblet of the Sojourner, which is an Electro Damage bonus. And uh, I wanted to switch to an attack goblet here. My first gladiator uh, artifact, as well as the first 5 star artifact I've ever gotten, was kind of disappointing, so I don't think I'm going to keep this, or at least I'm not going to use it on her. And uh, the electro damage bonus is pretty good. And I was able to also get percent attack and elemental mastery. At the moment, either this one, the cup, is going to become gladiator, or the feather. But the feather I would like to replace quickly. Then Berserker's Battle Mask. I would like to keep Berserker on Kuching because she attacks very quickly and more attacks, more crit. Uh, she does actually quite well. So that's 35% attack. And this is only a crit rate bonus, which is pretty bad. Again, this is all I have to work with for the moment. And I just was really impatient. Haven't been getting very lucky with my artifacts, especially the four stars. As for Constellation, I have one on her. Now personally, I would much rather have gotten another 5-star unit, like a different one, instead of Constellation. But this isn't that bad, because it does basically a follow-up damage for whenever she uses her elemental skill. And I'm down for that, but usually a Constellation doesn't get that, I suppose, meaningful, until you reach the third one, which increases the level of your talents by a large amount. As for talents, I got 4, 4, 4... Uh, that's as far as I can go until uh, AR-35. And there she is. She's my waifu. Everyone else chooses... I don't know. Actually, I think she is really the only... Well, some people use Fischl. I call Fischl the waifu, but... Even though she's not exactly S-tier, although I actually think she might be since they fixed her a bug with her, so she might be S-tier now. Uh, people think Diluc is definitely way better, but... Uh, I don't know. I like her more in terms of personality and her fighting style. Venti. There's a divide between those who itemize him for attack damage, like just for DPS, or if they go for uh, energy recharge and elemental mastery. You can pick your poison with it, but I personally just went for attack. I have the 5 star Amos bow, which I was able to pull pretty luckily, and it has a massive amount of attack and percent attack, and it actually has a pretty good sniper effect. So Venti with the charge shot max range can do quite a significant amount of damage. Like I've seen him pull off 3 4,000 even though he only has about like 1200 attack. As for a set, it's sort of the same thing, I'm just waiting to get new purples. I don't want to invest too much in blues anymore, so once I get AR-35, I'm going to make a huge upgrade to all my characters. And I'm putting a pretty good flower on him for the time being. It's only a 3-star flower, but it has crit rate, attack, crit damage, and attack. And uh, Instructor set's pretty good on him. So I'm like, kind of disappointed that I wish this could have been a better flower. This is like the best you can get on a DPS flower. As for the Feather, he has a purple one, which is, again, not that great, but at the moment I'm just giving him whatever I can give. The Pocket Watch I also have at, um, I was just able to get an attack percent one, and I was able to get some decent stats, but for the most part this is just for the set effect. And I'm gonna upgrade to a better Pocket Watch when I do. This one looks okay for the time being, because Elemental Mastery and Energy Recharge is what you would want on Venti. So I might make that change, but at the moment I'm running out of uh, resources. Similar story with a cup, when I find something better, I'm going to upgrade it. Which might be this one actually, because uh, it has some pretty good starter stats and elemental mastery for base. Lastly, the silver circlet lucky dog, just again for attack, he'll get something better later. Everything's placeholder because I'm in a transitional period, most people don't really start working on finalizing a lot of their endgame equipment until they reach AR-35, and technically AR-40, but that's a long ways away. His constellation I don't have any, of course. Talents are 3, 3, and 4. I should probably work on leveling him up, but Ballad is not until Wednesday, so I have to wait for that. Okay, this is my Traveler, which I was using him as a follow-up DPS, but for the moment, I just have him as a second an animal because the double animal allows you to travel more frequently, with less stamina reduction, more movement speed, so that's all he is good for right now. But I suppose, um, I guess Constellation we're at 4, Talents I have him at 2, 3, and 5, or technically 2, because of the uh, plus 3. So he's more of a, just a support unit. And then Diluc. Those of you guys who watched my pull video, saw my pop-off, I was really happy to get this guy. 
Uh, as much as I love Kaching, I just wanted someone with- I just wanted a great sword user, and this guy's everything. He's tank, DPS, assassin, freaking burst. He's- The only flaw I think he really has is that after he uses his burst, he kind of is a little crappy in terms of damage, but that's when I would switch to Kaching to wait for the cooldowns to come off. She's a lot more consistent, whereas Diluc has a lot more front-loaded damage. Prototype Aminus, I have the Star Ward, or the Skyward Pride, which is the weaker of the two 5-star Greatswords. Wolf's Gravestone is what everyone wants, and that is coming out technically for the new event banner, but I don't think I'm going to work on that because I don't know how much I want to whale for a specific weapon. To my knowledge, a max Sacrificial Greatsword is actually better, uh, plus 6 refinement, because a higher uh, percent chance to, I think it's actually 100%, right? 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That might actually be the scaling, but in that case, then Dilu can literally spam his E non-stop. Well, not non-stop, it only happens once every 30 seconds, but being able to double cast it is usually all the burst you need. So this is actually a better option for him if you can get a plus 6. Artifacts are surprisingly worse on him, but he has equal if not more attack than Kaching, mostly because for Kaching she has the Goblet for Electro Damage, whereas Dilu has a Berserker Bone Goblet which is crit rate, and I was able to get plus 30 attack, as in the upgraded stat was attack, so it's not bad, honestly, and I have the full Berserker set on him because I'm trying to go for a crit rate on him. The flower is placeholder, we'll get something better. Um, it's just crit rate for the time being. The feather I am keeping because it's not giving him anything of that much import. It's also a good feather to give to maybe Venti, but uh, at the moment, that's all you can use right now. Gladiator set is what I'm going for too. But if you have a four-piece Berserker set, you can't go a two-piece Gladiator set. So I might have to make that decision later on. For the timepiece, it's just another one for attack and attack. And then another Berserker Battle Mask. This is the one for Kuching. This was supposed to technically be for Diluc, but I decided to give him a weaker one. I think the reason why his attack is on par, if not better, no, it's actually on par with Kuching, is because uh, great swords have a better base attack and uh, lower attack scaling, whereas uh, regular swords have a higher percent attack scaling but lower base attack. That and again, the artifacts. As for talent 433, the resistance one. Oh, I actually can upload one of them. Um, Probably Onslaught. There you go. Talents are super important. You guys want to work on this. I'll make a video on that later if you want. When is this? This is tomorrow. Okay, good. This is gonna be really good. Uh, the character ascension phase 4. Yeah, when you get from 60 to 70, when you can level characters to 70, they get a huge power spike. Because for Kuching, she gets a bonus to her crit rate and energy recharge, so she can spam her ulti a lot more. Uh, Venti, I believe he gets um, more energy regeneration. For Diluc, it's bonus pyro damage and a longer buff, so he can just do more DPS over time. Shangling, I think, gets... Oh yeah, she drops a Pepper, which gives you 10% attack, and that actually means quite a bit. Uh, as for Shangling, she's also just a support. I give her a little bit of damage, but she's like not really the top priority. I mostly just use her for, um, what is it, uh, Goba and her Pyronator. And of course, the 25% attack bonus. So that's all I have. I'm working on Chongyu right now, who has the Skyward Pride. By the way, I'm pronouncing it the way I would pronounce Japanese or Korean, because I'm half Japanese, half Korean. Uh, I don't know, like we would call it Chongyun, but I know in uh, Chinese it might be Chong Chongyun. So I apologize for the bad pronunciation. It's a little bit different in between Cantonese, Mandarin, and Korean and Japanese. But I think that's about it. I don't know what else really to cover, I'll figure it out later. I kinda want Klee, because I would just swap out Shangling for Klee. But again, I don't need fire at the moment, I just got Diluc. What I would like is, again, um, Chi Chi or Mona. I have Tongyun now, so I think he's passable. He's sort of like a ice version of Razor. Uh, water would also be great. Mona is super helpful for a lot of water levels. Or Barbara technically works, but again, she's more of a support unit. Alright guys, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, comment down below. I'd love to hear what you have for your account, if you got any good units or good equipment and stuff. Um, I hope your luck with artifacts is a lot better than mine, because mine's kind of crap. Although, fortunately it's made up for in units. 
I'm not sure how much more I want to go in terms of spending money on the game because while I really do enjoy this game, I just don't know how much it's worth going for this because Genshin does have a very unforgiving gacha system. Which means you would only really want to get a unit if they're just so much better than any other unit of the same category. For example, every fire unit just absolutely gets destroyed by Deluxe. So uh, Bennett loses. I'm pretty sure Beto's also fire. Uh, Shangling is a support. She's not really DPS, though she can DPS. Uh, but Deluxe just blows all of them out of the water. Same with Kaching. She destroys Razor and... Uh, well, it's just actually Razor. <laughs> Fischl, you can't really compare the two because Fischl's a ranged unit versus melee. So yeah, I'll think about whether or not I want to go for a Klee. She's cute and really adorable and my heart, diabetes and stuff. But I think uh, I might have to pass on her, at least for now. There might be something in the future that lets us get her for free. I don't know, maybe some event. So I'll end it off here. Just a few more things. Uh, join my Discord server if you want to play with the rest of us and uh, if you want to chat with everybody. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon for the next video. Take care.